Okay, good afternoon. My name is Han sang uh, First of all, I would like to thank to all of OXIAL members, especially OXIAL Asia Pacific, Mr. Victor Kim and Young Seok Kim and Mr. As Young Bin Ha to having a nice opportunity to having a presentation here in Luxembourg. So my company actually dealing with uh, nanotechnology and also licensing and product manufacturing. So before to introduce my story, let's think about some general question of materials. So our ancestors, as you already know that, we lived stone and bronze and iron age. So this each age was uh, defined based on materials. And also people are saying we are living in fourth industrial revolution age. So it's almost the starting point. And as you can see here, the first industrial revolution, it was steam power, and second one is electrical power and based on the mass production, and also conveyor system. And third one was electric devices, and especially for internet. So let's think about all our industrial revolution was started from the materials. If there is no good enough material for to make steam power engine or cylinder, the first industrial revolution never be happened. So it means that the next industrial revolution, I can say it will be materials revolution and materials itself revolution. So thanks to OXIAR who is producing uh, firstly, mass productable and uh, high quality, very reasonable price, and single world carbon nanotube. And everybody knows that single world carbon nanotube is very unique and attractive material because it can be enhancing most of industrial engineering part. So in my case, I'm more uh, focused on uh, carbon nanotube for the lane porcing the metal matrix composite or ceramic matrix composite materials. So I'm going to introduce in here and uh, two interesting material for me. Uh, first one, just a general uh, structural material CNT lane post aluminum matrix composite or metal matrix composite material. And the other one is the functionally graded material, of course, lane post by CNT. And I'm going to give two examples energy transfer composite, and also uh, energy rechargeable uh, razor light. So here, everybody know that the material should be light and strong, and also it should be also multifunctionality. Of course, it should be supported and supported by reasonable price. So it may be possible to write some CNT lane post aluminum matrix composite. Here is some example. Uh, let me explain short experimental procedure. So aluminum powder and CNT powder could be uh, mixed together and we fill it up this composite powder. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not, it's working uh, automatically, so. Maybe can you stop the automatic passing? So first, we have to make some aluminum powder and CNT powder together and to make mixture and then fill it off some aluminum can or copper can and magnesium. It doesn't matter. Any other materials could be matrix. So in this case, I'm going to show you some aluminum CNT and cable materials. Okay, thank you. Here. So, and then we uh, fill it up, encapsulated this material, and throat hot extrusion. So, we successfully fabricated carbon nanotube lane post aluminum matrix composite cable. So, this cable shows some very interesting property. Of course, in here, just aluminum, pure aluminum matrix, I'm gonna introduce in here. It shows tensile strength around 300 megapascal. It means that it, it can be used in general commercially available aluminum alloy, which is going to use autumn part in this uh, present. So, and also you can find some CNTs is well uh, distributed onto the aluminum powder, and also they are connected 
uh, very strongly because we found some broken parts of CNT. It means that some stress was well concentrated and transferred into the CNT, which is reinforcement. So it can be used for reinforcing uh, material for metal matrix composite. And based on this technology, in recently, actually, my company is selling licensed, well licensed this uh, patent uh, to patent to for making carbon nanotube reinforced aluminum matrix composite material especially cable application, and 500,000 US dollar, and 1% loyalty for seven years. So it was transferred in one of Korean company and last October. And then here, another application, Tubo cannot apply only for the aluminum matrix, but also we can apply stainless steel and magnesium and titanium and copper, whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, single wall carbon nanotube can be function as reinforcing materials in the, alumin in the metal matrix composite. So here's some summarize of the uh, density and hardness, of course very small uh, mechanical property. So anyway, the remarkable, you can see in here, only 0.1% of carbon nanotube reinforced copper, they are shown 300 times higher uh, hardness compared than in general copper. Uh, also in here, another application for the aluminum, 0.1% uh, volume percent tubo. So recently I successfully fabricated this uh, heat sink material. So we already uh, on the testing for this uh, LED heat sink material. So if the material is fit well, maybe this kind of material could be selling as like a commercially available uh, LED uh, heat sinker. So next is uh, functionally graded material for energy transfer. So everybody knows that a metal and ceramic cannot combine very easily, but in through spark plasma sintering, it could be bonded together. And then and the important thing is that in here, and heat and electrical property, electro, electric should be smoothly uh, flowing as like here. Uh, sorry. So tubo also can be accelerating the, this property because it has very high summer and electrical property. So in here, uh, when we successfully fabricated this kind of material, when this material is exposed under the light and or some heat or UV light or nuclear radiation, they can give some signal. In this case, we can see the some light. So I'm gonna show you uh, this example in here. Yes, when I turn on the 365 UV light, you can see that the green light is turning on. That is just a ceramic part and the right uh, short movie shows uh, in front is ceramic and behind is an, uh, copper. So they can combine together and each layer and combine with also single bar carbon nanotube. So when I turn on 365 nanometer, it shows some uh, UV light. So it means that we can use this material as like some sensing material and also for the very interesting uh, Razor light application. So razor light application in recently in 2014, and BMW was world first uh, commercially available light made, and they are selling in Europe. I know. So, however, when we apply this kind of material, we can replace some LED and any other and HID and birth because we can. And uh, please think about when uh, the, we used uh, hundreds of years ago just a candle, and then it changed to just a bulb and lamp and fluorescent and lamp and now LED. But it's time to change. LED should be go to the LD, laser diode. It's better efficiency and save the 
CO2 emission also. So it could be changed. So maybe BMW is world leader. And also Osram and Philips, they all try to make this kind of razor materials. So however, in here that the small part, this material is attached onto the uh, razor. And this is concept. And we can use this razor light for the general lighting and projector and industrial lighting and also car lighting. And car lighting and projector is already available in commercially. So I'm going to show you a short movie how it functions. Uh, so here is my uh, razor diode located, which is combination uh, of ceramic and um, metal matrix, and also incorporated single wall carbon nanotube. Let's see the very short uh, movie. So when, uh, sorry. When I turn on the right, the right side is there is some blue razor, and then the material could be light on. And here is another concept. Actually, if we attach the thermal electric material, which it can be uh, transfer the heat to the electricity. So if we attach this material in our material, it can be generated also some electricity. Of course, in this moment, we just successfully shown only small LED uh, writing. But in near future, maybe it can be more accelerated and we can also turn on the, another electric system. And this story actually uh, published in Nature Scientific Report in last year. So however, uh, this kind of uh, super uh, nanocomposite material could be changed in many parts in energy, construction, and machinery, and all of the, I believe, all of the uh, industrial field. So let me summarize my talk. Actually, uh, as I mentioned earlier, when we defined our human society, always defined based on material. So it's time to define another because I do believe single world carbon nanotube is strong candidate to change our society and for next generation. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much.